Dear students, I welcome you all to this digital electronics tutorial series. In this video, we will solve this problem on logic circuit or logic inputs or logic variables, logical expression. So in this question, we are asked to find out the expression for output F. Output is F here. So we have three inputs A, B and C. We have to find out the expression for output F. F is logic 1 for the following combinations we are given with these four conditions these are the four conditions when any one of these conditions is fulfilled then output is one because here you have to keep in mind that your question may be a little bit tricky or a little bit different you may be told that f is logic one when all of these following combinations are satisfied then you have to solve it in a different manner okay but in this question you are asked to find out the expression for logic f the condition is f is logic one for the following combinations when this condition is fulfilled then output is logic one when this condition is also fulfilled then also it uh, output it will give output is equal to one irrespective of the other combinations or other uh, conditions when this third condition fourth condition if any one of these conditions are fulfilled then output will be equal to one so we have to understand here a few points i will solve this problem in two methods okay so here we have to understand that any one of the condition conditions when fulfilled the output is equal to one and when we say true true means it is a logic one okay or it is a normal value when we say false it is the complemented value we have to consider when we have true it is the normal value or not complemented value when we say false it is a complemented value so at this point we have to keep in mind while solving this problem so first of all let us solve this problem with method one okay so this is the solution let me write down here method one so this is a shortcut method i am showing you here here we can directly write the output expression or output function boolean expression how we will write b and c are true that means when both of these b and c are true then the output f is equal to one okay that means b and c will be in an operation when we say B or C are true, then this will be an OR operation. In this question, B and C. That means when both B and C variable or both B and C input are when 1, the output is equal to 1. Okay. So, let us consider the second case, second condition. Second condition is, first condition is covered. Second condition is when A and C are false. That means, A false means A bar c false means c bar okay now again we have to do a or operation okay so third condition third condition we have a b and c are true that means a an operation b an operation c when all these three are true or value is one or we can say that this is one value then we can say that the output will be one okay next we have again or operation with the fourth condition okay that means in the question we are given that if any one of the four conditions is true the output will be equal to one fourth condition is a b and c are false that means a false means a bar multiplied with b false means b bar and c false means it is c bar okay so this is the boolean expression so this equation we have to now simplify so how will simplify let me show you here so from this first term and the third term let me use another color okay so from, from this first term and the third term we can take bc common so if we take bc common what will have one plus a now if we consider the second term and the fourth term what will happen we can take a bar c bar common so we can write here a bar c bar so in the bracket we will have one plus b bar so now we can say that this 1 plus a equal to 1 and 1 plus b bar is also 1 so we can write here as bc plus a bar c bar so this is the solution of the given problem so the output expression or output 
simplified expression boolean expression is bc plus a bar c bar now we will go to our second method so now let us solve this problem with method 2 so this method is a lengthy process but this is a conventionally followed method okay now we will see this problem in a different way or we will solve this problem in a different method we will consider all the inputs and the outputs here we have inputs are a b and c and output is y okay so let us consider all the input combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 these are the input combinations okay for finding out the output whether it is 1 or 0 we have to see the conditions okay so we have first we have the first condition when b and c so let me show you again here so first condition is when b and c are true that means the output will be 1 so we can write here b and c are true then that means whenever we have b and c value is equal to 1 the output will be 1 here in this input side we can see b and c values are 1 in this fourth case okay so here we can write output is equal to 1 here also in the last case b and c are 1 okay so here also we can write 1 so this one we have written from the first condition second condition is when a and c are false that means whenever we have a and c value are 0 0 then the output will be 1 a and c we have to see here in the first line we have a is 0 and c is 0 so here output will be 1 a and c are both are not 0 a and c here also it is 0 so output will be 1 so these are the two ones we have got from our second condition let us check the third condition a b and c are true that means whenever we have a equal to 1 b equal to 1 and c equal to 1 output will be 1 so this is the case so here we have already written in the from our previous uh, condition that is a equal to 1 b equal to 1 and c equal to 1 that means a b and c all the three are three inputs are true then the output is one logic one so we have already written here now let us go to our fourth condition when a b and c are false that means a equal to zero b equal to zero and c equal to zero so this is the first case so here we have already written one okay all the remaining combinations we have the output is equal to zero so here zero this is zero and again zero these are the outputs so from here we can find out the boolean expression for the output y okay so let us write down here so here we have to consider the values that have one value okay logic one this one and this one so we will be having four mean terms so for the first value one we have the input are zero 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 we can write here a bar b bar c bar plus so for this one we have input are 0 1 0 so these are this is the input 0 1 0 that means this is a bar b c bar now let us uh, go to our third output one so we have the input is 0 1 1 that means a bar b c so here we can write a bar b c now let us go to our fourth output one we have inputs are 1 1 1 that means we can write here a b and c we have got the output expression or output boolean function from this table so now we can minimize or simplify this expression so how will simplify we can take bc common from this third and the fourth term and we can take a bar c bar a bar c bar common from this first two term okay so here if we take a bar c bar common what will have have b bar plus b from this third and the fourth term we can take bc common if we take bc common we will be having a bar plus a okay so here we can write a bar c bar plus b c because if we add a boolean variable to its complement then the output will be one only if we have b equal to zero b bar will be one so one plus zero it will be one so this will be b c 
okay so this is the output function minimized expression okay this is the solution and we have solved this using method number two thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you